the airline industry on a northern island getting set to take off. Have you collected your voter's card? Well, hundreds have not and a parliamentary official is making another appeal. Building youth is better than mending men. The focus of a boys conference set for Grand Bahama. This is the Bahamas Tonight, the Northern Edition. Good evening all, I'm Shoshina Roll as always. It is so great to have you with us. Topic news, two Grand Bahama men are tonight reported missing at sea. ZNS News learning that late Friday evening, two fishermen were traveling by boat in route to Moore's Island, Avaco from McLeanstown Dock. However, relatives have confirmed that the men, Leroy Mater and Peter Thomas, never arrived to their destination. The search reportedly involved the Royal Bahamas Police Force, the U.S. Coast Guard and the Bahamas Air, Sea and Rescue Association. Now, this afternoon, unconfirmed reports reaching our newsroom say that a vessel was discovered off Moore's Island. It is not certain whether or not that vessel is linked to the missing men, but it is a story our news team will continue to follow. Switching gears now, some great news coming for Bimini's tourism sector. Resorts World Bimini, luxurious 750-acre beachfront resort and casino, has brokered a deal with Elite Airways to offer the first-ever non-stop service from New York to Bimini come June 1st. Now, in celebration of this new route, Resort World Bimini is offering a $100 resort credit to any guest who books a flight between now and June 1st, 2017. Now, officials say there are no restriction on travel dates, providing the booking is made before the June 1st inaugural flight. And the process will be simple. Upon check-in, guests will show their boarding pass from their arrival flight to receive credit, which can be used at any of the six on-property restaurants, retail outlets, or towards a treatment at the Serenity Spa and Salon. Now, the new non-stop flight from New York Liberty International Airport at 1.45 p.m. and arriving at Bimini at 4.30 p.m. will be available two days a week on Thursdays and Sundays. The direct flight from Bimini to New York to New York, rather, leaves at 8.45 a.m. with a stop in Melbourne, Florida. This marks the first time tri-state residents can travel directly to Resorts World Bimini without added travel time of a layover in Fort Lauderdale or Miami airports. Well, meanwhile, Grand Bahama's ailing tourism economy continues to be a priority of the government. The nation's leader addressing the closure of hotels on this island during the Progressive Liberal Party's rally on Friday night. While many doubted the successful opening of Bahama in the nation's capital, calling it a mere dream, the nation's leader, the Prime Minister, the Right Honorable Perry Christie, says it is no dream but now a reality. He stated that it came to fruition with his strong team and endless hours of hard work and sleepless nights. Speaking to a crowd of supporters on Grand Bahama Friday night, the nation's chief noted that Grand Bahama has had its share of challenges when it comes to the tourism sector, but there may be some light at the end of the tunnel soon. The agreements for the purchase of the hotels in Grand Bahama are very near fruition, Brother Roskam. They are that close. And just as we delivered on Bahama, we're going to deliver on a new touristic economy in Grand Bahama. So I hope you appreciate why we have to fight for our future. Change never comes easy. It takes blood and sweat and tears but changing a country that you love there is no greater privilege minister of tourism the honorable obi walsh come also optimistic that the tourism sector on this island will make a great comeback Bahama is just one thing that's happening in our country you're going to soon hear about the new tourism plans for grand bahama and those tourism plans will be equal to or better than because no longer are we going to play catch up? We're going to be leading because we've got to get this economy growing by 4% and we've got to get unemployment down under 5%. But the nation's leader says that they are also embracing the endless possibilities of sports tourism. I don't have to tell you that you make 
millions of dollars if your buddy healed. I don't have to tell you that there are other young buddy heels all through Grand Bahama and the rest of the Bahamas. You therefore know what sports can do. You saying Bolt brings millions of dollars into Jamaica. There are you saying Bolts here in the Bahamas. Our job is to find them. So what we're doing, we're building three new stadiums built by Bahamian architects, Bahamian engineers, and Bahamian builders. We're providing facilities for Bahamians to be able to give them the opportunity to be the best they can. Well, as the countdown continues to the upcoming May 10th general election, hundreds of voters may not be able to cast their ballots, according to the acting assistant parliamentary commissioner, Reno Smith. He says many residents have not collected that all-important document, their voters' card. Come into the office, collect your voters' card, <laughs> proof it carefully, make sure your information is correct, and uh, don't wait for the last minute, because if you wait for the last minute and your um, information is incorrect, you could be disenfranchised on that day by having your opportunity to vote denied. And if you insist to vote on a protest ballot, every vote ought to count. And so please, again, Bahamians, come and collect your cards and prove them now so that we can make the necessary corrections. Well, persons should collect their voter's card from the Parliamentary Registration Department located in the NIB building in Freeport. In other news, the Zion United Convention West Grand Bahama District is inviting residents on Grand Bahama to come together for their 46th annual convocation this May 1st through the 7th. Now, as the nation prepares for the May 10th general election, Assistant District Superintendent Paul, Pastor Paul Mulling says all candidates have been invited to attend the event and worship with constituents. We invited all the candidates on Grand Bahama who vying for a seat in Grand Bahama. We invite them to come and worship with us on Wednesday. That's Wednesday the 3rd. Uh, we're going to deliver to them the personal invite to come and we want to pray for them as candidates and of course pray for our nation. So we're going to have our, our, our superintendent, Pastor Michael Pinder, along with our other pastors and our guests present as well. We're going to pray uh, earnestly for this country. This year's theme is Holiness Unto the Lord Now and Forever, and the guest speaker is Dr. William Flippin of Atlanta, Georgia. Mulling says leaders will focus on the social ills affecting Grand Bahama and the country at large. The focus will be on dealing with the, what do we call it, Zion's response to, the, uh, to societal ills, uh, whether it's crime and, and violence and uh, the breakdown of the family unit. Um, we're going to respond, we're going we're gonna to huddle as it were and come up with some ideas, some practical solutions to the problems that we see in society. That's Tuesday. On Wednesday, we'll be focusing primarily on the business of the convention and we have a document that we prepared called the, the Tactical Plan, a 10-year Tactical Plan. Stay with us, there's more news right after this.